Hello and welcome back to Realm of Thrones 4.0. All right, so here we are speaking to Mr. Foul Breath right here. Don't get too close, okay? Don't get too close. We don't want to pass out. But anyway, we do have a task here to hand him 66 hogs because I was actually doing a Deliver the Herd quest. You could see how exactly we can make money just by traveling from, from point A to point B. It's actually kind of crazy how much we're actually making from that. 3,270 from it. We also have overpriced raw materials here, but obviously I'm not actually going to be doing that. We're instead going to go into the tournament here. I haven't checked the leaderboard in quite some time, so I'm actually thinking, you know what, we're probably going to check that after this, and we'll see whether we are now number one. Because if we are number one, that means that we're going to be gaining some passive benefits. We're going to be gaining some wonderful little renown every single day or at least I, I hope it is every single day that they actually add it up I don't know whether it is but hopefully it will be and hopefully I'm going to be able to Ooh, okay thankfully this guy actually did just use thrusting attacks against us because if he hadn't used thrusting attacks and actually glanced against our armor then I feel like we would have had some mighty big problems. Okay, let me see if I can actually shoot this fellow. Nice headshot. Wow, okay. Very surprising I was actually able to do that, considering my crosshair is not exactly the most accurate thing in the world at the moment. Um, yeah, but anyway, the previous episode's uh, finale thing that we had going on there, which is where, basically where I wanted to besiege Tolos, and there was a bit of an issue with it. Yes, there was a bit of an issue with it. There was a peace declaration, and obviously we couldn't continue onward with the siege because of a bug slash glitch that has been introduced in this version of Bannerlord, which is actually kind of hilarious. I did not realize that that was actually a thing. So, yeah, anyway, apparently, according to most of you, there is a fix for it where basically you have to... It's, it's more of a workaround where you have to leave the siege and allow whoever it is, uh, whichever, you know, vassal or lord is nearby to you, and let them be the ones to instigate and begin the siege itself. Because if you don't do that, then you're not going to be able to lead your soldiers into the fief itself and conquer it. So, yeah, that's obviously a pretty big issue, and I'm going to assume that that is going to be fixed, or has already been fixed, in the later versions of the game. Now, I'm not sure if I can actually upgrade my game to those later versions because the mods that I'm currently running, I don't know whether they're all working for those later versions. So that is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yes, that is a bit of a problem. Anyway, I do have 2,350 um, people that I actually took prisoner from a caravan ambush mission that I did off screen just before I started recording. And uh, I'm just going to sell those as you can see, for a slightly tidy profit. Nothing nothing too dramatic there. We also have a potential horse village over here, which we might be able to get some war mounts from. As you can see, war mounts do seem to be quite expensive still, which i got to say I'm a bit, bit disappointed by that. I shouldn't really sell all these things over into the village here, all things considered. What does he actually have? You need help with brigands. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of doing the helping with brigands quest right now. Let's take a look at this. No, we're not going to do that either. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Oh, he's actually still beating me. I can't believe it. Look at that. I am now beating Gregor Clegane, but I am not beating Ario Hota. So I'm going to have to do something about him. So that means I'm going to need to win. Oh, look, look, there's a dragon. <laughs> there's a dragon Daenerys is actually having a dragon on the map there you can see that she's actually riding it um, very clearly whoa this is this is actually a very cool model gotta say this is an extremely cool model they've done a wonderful job here and you can see her actually riding on top of it that is amazing okay can I actually speak to wow that looks really menacing I do not want to be someone on um <laughs> on her bad side let's just say that let's let's not have her absolutely murder us shall we anyway here we go um hmm okay sure i will collect your rents just purely for the fact that it's going to be a pretty decent thing for us to do to um you know kind of gain some relation with her i, I don't know how, how much relation do we even have with her i don't i don't think we have um such a low amount so i think we've got a pretty decent amount actually all things considered anyway let's just speed things up a little bit here and then we'll see what happens aha Give the landlord a small bribe for his men and continue to collect revenues with their help. Mm, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, village increased. Uh, yeah, my village relation has increased. So that's actually really nice. And we can just speed the rest up. And there we go. We're done. 
And do I have to go over here as well? Yes, I have to go to these three villages. Actually, four villages, surprisingly enough. Okay. Uh, ah, we've got a number of different events that we're actually going to have to take part in now as well. Okay. Refuse to exempt everyone. Agree to exempt the poor households. Tell the villagers that they have all paid enough. Okay, I'm going to agree to exempt the poor households. Uh, I mean, personally for me, according to the character of Daenerys, I think that she probably would also have the compassion to not take from the poor people. But I obviously, mm, I mean, I don't know her, you know. I don't know her inner workings or anything like that, so maybe she would, who knows. Anyway, tell your men that the headman is probably lying. Okay, wait, wait what does he say? There's been an outbreak of the flux in the village. He warns you for your own good to stay away. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to say, tell your men to be careful and to touch nothing in a house where anyone has been sick. That seems like a decent idea. And there we go. We also gain some uh, relation with the notables around here as well, which is actually pretty good if you think about it and you can see here look at that your relation with notables in some of your settlements increased due to high loyalty that's wonderful okay that's really really good now we've got the last village here suddenly a brawl starts between your troops and some of the village youth order the rest of your troops to put the village youth to flight order your troops to try to not hurt hurt the youth and try to separate the two sides yeah we'll try to we'll try to separate the two sides eight of your men got wounded okay well i actually don't mind that too much because they can get back on their feet relatively quickly. So that is really not that big a deal, is it? No. Anyway, there we go. We were able to achieve our goal here. Um, yes, here is your share. There we go. And we gained 10 relation with her, which is not bad. Not too bad. I was, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more, but obviously it is just a revenue quest. It's not actually something too amazing. So I don't think we should really be expecting, you know, 50 or something like that. I mean, obviously, that's a bit of an exaggeration in general. Okay, so I think I'm probably... Wait a minute. Let me just see here real quick. Yes, I will take... Yeah, I will take this quest. Right. I was just trying to make sure that if Aegon decides to, to declare war again, that that wasn't going to get, um, you know, me a, a, a huge fail... Um, once more, because that would be really, really bad. Needs help with brigands. Okay, not going to be doing that. Oh, this guy's going to get attacked. Uh, yep, he's going to get... He got taken prisoner by these desert bandits. Okay, I'm going to help you, yeah. sir. What? I am going to help you. There we go. And we've now uh, freed him. And I actually received... What? How did? Why did I receive 2,800? Okay, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure why I've received such a large amount of money, but uh, I set him free, apparently, which is, I suppose, good, right? I think that's relatively good. Anyway, let's make our way over over to uh, Tolos here, maybe, and we'll see if we can maybe do another task there as well. I'm kind of just biding my time right now for when Aegon decides to declare war again, because I'm pretty sure he's about to do it quite soon. I wouldn't think that he's going to take too long on this. The Dothraki Horde... We are paying 650 every single day. Why are we paying so much? Personally, I feel like we'd be able to deal with them without too many issues. As you can see, they only have two towns and four castles. It should be pretty easy. And we are paying them 650. We've already paid 172,000, which is quite significant. Um, yeah, okay. So there is no support for declaring war here. I don't even have enough influence to be able to do that. There is support for declaring war against the Dothraki, but only 17%. Uh, let me see. if. What about the Valantines? 17% for them as well. So... Not going to happen there. There's 22% for Mir. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything with them, unfortunately. But there is a tournament here, and there is a horse available too. So that means we're going to be able to get some massive, massive money gains. And hopefully we'll be able to achieve victory here. Oh, there's only... Oh, it's only one versus one. Oh, okay. I was actually kind of thinking that we'd have maybe something a little bit more... Maybe a little bit more difficult. But uh, yeah, I guess I, this is actually kind of difficult because he is blocking quite significantly here. Ah, no, there we go. We've got him off, off rhythm now, you know, see. Any single time you can get someone off rhythm in a one, one versus one or a duel of some kind, you're going to have a, an amazing time. It's going to be much, much easier. If only I could do this with every single opponent, that would be amazing. No, so, yeah, maybe, maybe. No, no, no. He's starting to block a little bit here. Nice little dodge there from us as well when he did the overhead. 
There we go. He's dead. And now hopefully... Uh, there, there were four teams in this one, right? I think there were four teams in this. Well, whatever the case, I'm just going to try and eliminate this fellow. There we go. Oh, wow. Nice one, Garen. Nice one. You actually uh, did your part there. Yes. Okay, so he's got thrown weapons. Kind of wish I was the one with the thrown weapons because I actually find them very fun to use. But oh, well. Never mind. Let's just do some nice little old backhands here. There we go. Oh, we killed them at the same time. Good job, Garen. Okay, wow, look at that. And now we are actually in a fight against each other. He is going to be not too pleased about this, I assume. As you can see, that is a wonderful 64 damage to start off with. And he is now very much on the back foot. No way he's going to come back from this. And nope, no way. All right, there we go. We were able to get that horse. This horse is going to sell for, I don't think, that much. I think I remember this horse quite a lot and doesn't seem to be that expensive to sell. But it's better than nothing, you know what I mean? Oh, never mind. Actually, it is one of the better ones by the looks of things. I might even decide to use this myself because look at the difference in speed and maneuverability. It is just incredible to use this. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not really hurting for money right now, but if I do need money, then, well, we have a horse here and we can sell it anytime we want. So that's pretty nice. Let's just sell this for 2000 We might as well sell this stuff as well. Get another 3800 from that. And let's take a look at the leaderboard. We are now uh, tied uh, first place. Actually, I am in first place, but this guy can easily win another tournament and then he's going to pass us. So I'm going to try to get another tournament going here, but I'm, of course, going to try and do as many tasks as possible. Ooh, another herd quest. This is actually incredible, by the way. I'm not sure. Is this... Is this, a, is this a bug? Is this a bug of some kind or a glitch of some kind? Because all I'm doing is going to Daemonos here and I am speaking to the headman and he's saying, hey, can you uh, can you take my hogs all the way over to Yunkai right here? And then I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, sure. I can do that. No problem at all. And I do that and I take it over to Mr. Foulbreath, as you can see. It's the same guy. And he is literally going to give me 3,200 or something along those lines. Yep, 3,400. And look at how simple that was. You see how absolutely just brain deadly simple that was. Really, really easy. Nice and simple. Just gained a, a significant amount of cash for doing pretty much nothing at all. And I'm, I'm wondering whether you can repeat that quest over and over again. Uh, that, that might be pretty cool, you know. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's uh, maybe too easy. Is it too easy? Uh, there is an Escort Merchant Caravan quest here that I would love to do. But first, oh, Tyrion's clothes. Oh, he, he did he get drunk again? Did he get drunk again and come here and, and bet all of his clothes? Maybe he did. I don't know. But whatever the case, we're going to be winning Tyrion's clothes for some reason. But I'm very much <laughs> interested in actually seeing how they look. And uh, maybe they can actually be good for someone. Uh, is Garen actually wearing better better armor now? I think he is, right? I think he is wearing better armor, so I don't really need to give him anything else, but might be kind of fun. There we go. He's dead. Wonderful. That was super, super nice and quick. And we can do another one here. Oh, we got a bow. Uh, okay, not, not a big fan of the bow, to be honest. Usually it takes quite a while to actually kill anything with it. As you can see, even a headshot... Uh, the accuracy. Uh, the accuracy. Oh no, it's it just kills me. Makes me cringe internally just just seeing the accuracy. Just let the uh, the arrow fly off to some far off land. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, like that. You know, just missing the guy by a, a small margin just because the crosshair is slightly is a little bit too large. You know, ah, uh, that kind of thing is. Very frustrating, but it's fine because we won. Yeah, we actually won with double headshots, which is very cool. Anyway, I've got to be a bit careful of this because I don't want to get myself singled out too heavily. But I do kind of want to make sure that my force... There we go. That he actually hits the guy that was on us a little bit more than the other fellow. You know, you kind of... you, you got to be a bit manipulative to get the AI to help you. Because otherwise they're literally just going to be like, nah, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm not going to help you at all. And that's kind of what I was attempting to do. You know, trying to get him to assist me 
in my in my pursuit of victory there against that one person because otherwise then what's going to happen is my guy will be eliminated and then we're not going to have any assistance whatsoever and it's going to be extremely difficult so escort merchant caravan quest we're going to do that in just a second but first of all i just want to level up my forces we've got a whole bunch of people that we can actually level up now and we got some more mounts we got some more mounts very nice we got some more of these guys more of these guys uh there we go okay i think that seems pretty good we've got the three more mounted people and did i actually level up yeah i have 152 in charm skill so what do we actually want to do uh plus three relation with the nearest settlement owner clan when you clear a hideout that can be quite important and i think i'm probably going to be taking that because minus 20 percent chance of hiring mercenary troops why do i care about that I mean, a minus 10% barter penalty. Mm, minus 10% barter penalty. That might actually be really good. If you're attempting to do the whole, um, you know, trading thing, like if you have um, everything has a price, then this perk is probably going to be quite important for you because a minus 10% barter penalty, every little helps in that regard. But I'm going to take effort for the people for my uh, for my purposes right now. And we are going to do the Escort Merchant Caravan quest. And hopefully we'll be able to do quite well with it. A thousand every single day. A thousand every single day. That's actually kind of incredible. Okay, so I need to level up um, 15 borrowed troops. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, that's quite significant. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so yeah, the strategy, apparently, according to some of you, is to literally engage the bandits before they arrive at the caravan's location that is the way that you're supposed to play these caravan uh, you know caravan escort missions that is not something that i have ever done before because i literally just think they should help me out i never thought that that was actually a failure state i didn't think that they could be eliminated but apparently they have made that a thing now so yeah now we're gonna have to do things uh, a little bit more well, a little bit more aggressively, I guess. A little bit more aggressively, because they're going to have to, well, be saved. And we need to make sure that they don't take too much damage in and around this area. Oh, yeah, by the way, I did do a battle, as I said before earlier in the episode. I said I, I did a caravan ambush mission, and we went in versus these pirates. And I actually got some amazing kills with this weapon. And... Oh, this is a new... Oh, no. This is this is the new uh, the new horse, isn't it? Oh, dear. Oh, my. Okay, yeah. This is not really going to work out too well for me. I'm sorry. This is... Oh, oh maybe... Oh, maybe it's okay. Oh, no. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Maybe, um, maybe I'm overestimating or, uh, shall we say, maybe underestimating myself. Because, let's face it, sometimes when some kind of variable changes in my loadout, whether that be a new weapon, a new bow... Uh, new horse, new armor, whatever. I always have some weird thing happen to me where I just absolutely suck at every single aspect of the battle. But this this time, this time actually, no. Uh, I seem to be doing okay. And also this mount is making things very easy for me to die from pole arms. So I've got to be a bit careful of that. And that may actually brings me to the next point because maybe I would like to start using a pole arm again. Because this is the thing. While I did have a wonderful experience in that caravan ambush mission where I was actually able to get around 10 kills very, in quick succession actually with one shot as well. I was able to get one shot kills almost every single time and I was actually quite impressed. I was quite impressed with this weapon and I think that in general if you know how to use it or if you get a little bit better using it then you're probably going to have a whale of a time. It's probably going to be one of the one of the best weapons you can have that is that is one-handed. Obviously, not very much use in a duel type situation, but in a in a field battle, then it's obviously a different story. Anyway, let me see what I can do here. Balance light lance. Just going to replace that. Can I actually nothing to equip? Hmm. We don't need anything else. Nope, apparently not. Apparently uh, there is nothing to equip here that is better than what I am currently using. So what I should do is I should just make everyone else equip things. And let's just make sure this guy is using this on foot. Do we have riding skill with this guy? I think, yeah, he does. Why is he not? Okay, he needs to use a horse. Okay, he really does need to use a horse. So I will be giving him... 
need to give him something that's relatively fast. So this one, my, oh no, yeah, my horse armor is absolutely atrocious. I think I need to get some better horse armor, to be honest. I feel like we just don't have good enough uh, protection for our new horse, to be honest. I think that, that really needs to change. Anyway, here we go. Uh, he also has bow skills. So I'm thinking to myself, do we want to give him a bow? He could be really, really useful. But then I'm also thinking, well, maybe he just wants to use this and actually be good at using that. Maybe that's going to be a better idea. Anyway, he's actually wearing Tyrion's clothes, as you can see right here. So that's actually real nice. And uh, it actually looks pretty good on him, to be fair. Anyway, uh, Garen is obviously a pretty good infantry person. He doesn't really need anything else. He's not really going to be very good at using a horse. He actually cannot use a horse most of the time. Lord Varys, I think, doesn't have too much riding skill either. No, he doesn't. And the Maester, does he have any riding skill? He has very low riding skill too, so I don't really need to worry too much about him either. Okay, so we still have the step recurve bow. I should probably go and buy a noble bow as well. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that just yet. There's Daenerys on her dragon once again. Absolutely love seeing that, actually. That is very, very cool. And that means... That maybe, just maybe, if we were to go into a battle with her, she might actually use it in that battle. So that was actually kind of the reason why I was thinking, yeah, you know what, maybe I would like to do that. Maybe I would like to, you know, side with her, ally with her, become a vassal, and so on and so forth. That's the reason why I initially did that, because I thought, well, if I can't marry her, you know, if, if, if that's not, you know, possible. Cause, and now here's the thing, uh, someone actually let me know that they attempted to use the marry anyone mod not with this mod specifically but i think you tried to marry a um leader of a faction you tried to marry a leader of a faction and upon doing that it actually resulted in the faction becoming completely stagnant because the ai didn't give you full control over that faction and so it basically made it impossible to continue onward so that um that definitely makes sense in that regard anyway unfortunately these guys wanted to attack so we're just going to have to auto resolve against them not sure why they did that but okay and we can just continue onward i've got to be very careful here because not sure why they're going so close to this hideout uh, we've got some more raiders coming up here so i'm going to just move ahead real fast we are using a lance now as well and we're going to try that out. Oh, we actually have another person joining us as well for the fight. Not on our side, of course, on the enemy's side. And we're going to see how that goes. Okay, so obviously, I'm just going to tell everyone to charge. There's not really any, any necessity to using tactics here. Because, let's face it, these guys are literally just bandits. And I don't think we really need to uh, bother with that too much. In before I get absolutely murdered by a polearm. <laughs> what do you bet? Yeah, maybe, maybe, or maybe not, because uh, we are using an extremely uh, fast mount now, so it is quite likely that we will be fine, and quite likely we'll get a few kills, so it shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, I don't have a particularly long pole arm right now, so I've got to be a bit careful of the reach. It is going to put me in a bit more danger if an enemy has a, a longer pole arm with better reach and everything. But that's the reason why I said, yeah, I'm probably going to die. You know, probably going to get myself killed. But it seems like we're actually doing all right. Look at how much damage we're actually dealing with this thing as well. It's just absolutely insane. And that's the reason why I say they've really made a huge difference in Bannerlord with the pole arms themselves. They have absolutely outdone themselves in making them so much better to use than they used to be in Warband. In Warband, you, you had to play specific mods to make the pole arms, well, relatively usable. You could use them as uh, like couch lancing, and you could do quite well with that. But usually, if you were to try something like this, where you try and you know try and like thrust at an opponent, the lance or spear would just be a bit too unwieldy, and it would make things very difficult. It's not impossible, not impossible, mind you, but it would make things quite tricky. So, yeah, anyway, uh, let's just do... Oh, hello there. Yeah, we'll just get some squires. Get some more of these, and there we have it. And then we'll just move on. Not going to take the Sturgia Peasant, as you might expect, of course, because I obviously want to try to uh, 
stay away from the base game units as much as possible. So yeah, anyway, is this the last place that we need to go? Uh, no, we need to, oh, are you serious? We need to go to five different towns? Okay, that's actually pretty incredible. Let's sell our prisoners right here. So that's gonna give me 3,000, which is pretty fantastic in itself. And uh, actually that brings me to another point that I wanna do. I actually wanna check how much is my brewery making? It's making zero. Hmm. I actually wonder why it's only, why is it making zero? Uh, let me just have a quick look here. There is a grain village nearby. That's very strange. <laughs> it actually makes me want to sell the thing. It makes me want to sell it so badly because I'm actually kind of disillusioned, shall we say. I am very disillusioned by that revelation yeah. because I thought to myself, oh no, it's going to be absolutely fine. We're going to have a wonderful time, you know, getting a brewery up and running. I thought that might be really, really cool and, and fun. And it might actually provide us with a pretty decent profit. But lo and behold, of course, that is not how it worked. No. Okay. Well, that's sad. That is very sad. In actual fact, I was thinking to myself, oh, yeah, it's going to be great. There's, gr there's grain nearby. I thought that would really do everything that we needed it to do. But no, unfortunately not. No. Ugh. Yeah, well, that's a classic and a half, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Let's just see if we can distract some of these guys. Oh, yeah, he just ran right into that. Oh, that's got to hurt. He's going to survive, though, hilariously enough. Even though I hit him in the face with it. But, yeah, there you go. Let's just do some damage with this. I mean, look at, look at how much damage we can actually deal. We're not even really being that effective with it, but I'm still able to deal some pretty good damage no matter what. And we have a high chance of killing someone almost instantly here. We got stop them. This horse is blazing fast. I am actually kind of a bit blown away by how fast it is because I initially thought to myself when I won it, I thought, oh yeah, that's one of those horses that doesn't sell for a, a huge amount, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, that put pay to that, didn't it? Yeah, that was literally just me shooting myself in the proverbial foot there because let's face it, you know, uh, yeah. It's just like me, isn't it? You know, it's like me to, to be like, oh yeah, this horse is not so good. And then I find out that it's one of the best horses or... It seems like it's one of the best horses, at least. Anyway, there is another tournament going on here. I'm actually wondering how much um, how much renown I'm getting per day from um, being the uh, the leader on the leaderboard. I'm actually not sure. Uh, am I still the leader? He, oh, look, he actually won one. He actually won one. Okay, that means that he is right behind us right now. Okay, we might have to do something about that. Hmm. Do I want to do anything about that right now? Maybe. Let me just sell some stuff here. 7,100 for that. That's actually crazy. 8,500 in total. This is exactly the reason why I always say the caravan escort mission is one of the best ways to just gain money because you, you just have so many different abilities to, to gain it. You know, you have so many different ways to gain it, that is. And that's meaning you have troops that you can sell as prisoners. You have loot. It's just fantastic. So, so good. Anyway, uh, more writing skill, I think, is on the cards, right? More writing skill, because look at this. I'm actually at the cap already. Uh, might go for some more pole arms, or we could just go for some more engineering, because obviously engineering is going to be pretty important for us. I have um, four in uh, smithing already, and I'm going to assume that Aegon is probably going to, you know, say some stuff soon enough about um, making war. And there is a scalpel here. Mm, not the best of weapons. Uh, I don't. I don't mind it too much because it has a pretty decent length and its swing speed's pretty good. Pretty good too. So if you're looking for something that you want to use on horseback, then the scalpel is a pretty decent option. Look at how much damage we're dealing with this thing. <laughs> it's not even my pole arm, but literally just able to do that much damage. Crazy. So incredibly easy. 
this guy is going to die in just a second. And he's, he's at like 5 HP right now. There we go. He's dead. Rindoon. Rindoon. He has a rather, rather enjoyable name to say. Yes, indeed. There we go. He's dead as well. There we are. Wonderful. And now we can continue on here. Okay, so we're up against one of our companions. Oh, they've given me the fantastic weapon. Oh, yes. I love this. Oh, okay. Not so much now. Don't worry. I'll love it again in about a second when I kill this guy. There we go. <laughs> yep, and there's another one. There we go. And here's another one. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, I'm getting overconfident. Let's not do that. Because you know me. If I get... Overconfident, then um, <laughs> bad things can happen. Uh, <laughs> you saw that, right? Oh, yeah. I, I hope you saw that. That is... Uh, that's one of those moments, isn't it? That is one of those moments. Oh, he gave me... Oh, they gave me another one. That's fun. That's fun. Okay, so we've got to be careful here. Once again, do not take these guys lightly. Ooh, that was close. Almost died. Or I think I did, at least. Oh, okay. They've given me a, a very interesting loadout here. Okay, uh, this guy is a bow lord. He's not particularly good with throwing weapons, it seems. Next thing I know, I'm going to get shot in the face. Okay, well, he's got no shield, and I'm pretty good with throwing weapons. I, I think I'm pretty good at throwing weapons, at least. Maybe you don't think so, but, you know. Anyway, there we go. That is a wonderful victory for us. Another nine renown. And, indeed, we've now retaken the top spot, surely, until he wins another one. I, I bet this is going to be a, an ongoing rivalry. It seems like this is an ongoing rivalry, at least, because this guy is purposefully seeking out tournaments and doing them as fast as he can because he's right by the side of us you know he's he is really right there oh there we go we actually achieved oh okay we actually did the uh <laughs> we did the escort mission i thought there was actually going to be more i really thought there was going to be more oh well never mind okay i'm actually going to go into the town here then and i'm going to check on the horses because they don't even have a huge amount of war mounts as you can see they only have two war mounts available, which is very strange. I don't know why the Dothraki do not have a huge amount of horses. I feel like they should have many, many more horses available for cheaper prices. Considering they are actually a, uh, you know, a, uh, a horse faction, aren't they? Aren't they a horse faction? I mean, generally, I would expect them to be, but apparently not apparently uh, a lot of these a lot of these villages only have two war mounts or something like that so that's a bit disappointing to me because i would love to be able to just buy i don't know 10 of them or something but no as you can see there's not too many here either very sad very very sad indeed oh well never mind let's just level up some more of our people here uh are all the borrowed troops done by the way let me actually have a look borrowed troops oh there's six of them that remain okay that's perfectly fine there is another tournament here, but I'd rather do the task. Let's hope that the task is actually good. Gang needs recruits. Yeah, no, that's not really going to be working out too well for me. We're just going to continue on back over to where Daenerys is. Maybe she has another task for us as well, because being able to do tasks for her and indeed for the people around us, it's definitely going to make a huge difference to our overall presence in the faction going forward. We want to make sure that everyone likes us and knows of us to be a rather helpful fellow. Oh yes, indeed. But yeah, that looks very, very cool. I wish I could actually go into a battle with her, to be honest. Um, oh, what do you need? Oh, what, what do you need, actually? Need more horses. You need 12? Okay, I'll bring your horses myself. How many? Please don't say you need war horses. You don't need war horses, do you? Oh no. I'm worried now. My friend. Okay, hello. About the task. Here are your horses. Okay, what did I give her? I, di I didn't have war, war horses, that's for sure. Yeah, hilariously enough, look, it gave me four relation. Only four relations, so I assume I literally just gave her some random horses that I had uh, lying around here, which is, I suppose, perfectly fine, but... Yeah, not not the best, is it? No, not the best. Oh well, never mind. Okay, well let's just continue on. Ooh, who's this guy? Okay, he has a he has a task for us. Hello there, sir. What do you need? Uh, okay, you can recruit eighteen Gascari archers and bring them to the garrison for me. Okay, uh, I don't know. 18 Gascari Archer. Um, 
Sure, okay, I'll try it. Usually these things are not my favorite task in the world. Let's take a look at how difficult they are to level up. They're not that difficult. They are only tier 3. That should be pretty simple, all things considered. So all I need to do is recruit some of them, first of all. Because I actually don't have any, I don't think. I mean, I do have some of these guys, but they're already footmen. This one levels up into these fellows, which are noble units. Um, yeah, I'm actually wondering, where where are the Unsullied, by the way? Uh, because someone said that you should recruit some Unsullied to me, you know, and uh, I'm thinking to myself, where are they? Because I don't see any of them at all, so it's a bit a bit weird. I'm not sure where to get them from. Okay, well, we need to go and do that. How much? Oh, I only have 29 days. Oh, dear. Yeah, well, that's going to be a little bit of a problem, isn't it? If I only have 29 days to do it, it might very well be the case that I won't be able to, but I guess we'll just have to try our best then, won't we? And I also need to get some Giscari recruits, so I'm probably going to do that as well. Let me just see if there is a... Maybe there's a quest around here where we can actually just take them into battle with me and uh, try to get them some easy experience, but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case. There seems to be not many tasks around here. Demon Gate is actually doing very well, by the way. We do have some large loyalty gains over here, so very much appreciating that. We can train troops for another person over here as well, which is not exactly what I'm looking to do. Um, so that's sad. Um, let me just take a look at my speed. Yeah, I think I could probably be traveling a bit faster, but obviously I'm running around with a bunch of infantry and everything. But yeah, as you can see, look at my loyalty right now. 85 loyalty. Actually crazy. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pay 10,000 into the reserves here. And then we're actually going to start getting some things like, for example, the fairgrounds. That's going to take 23 days to be built. And we also have this as well. I actually wonder, do we have any tier 3? Yes, we do. Look at that. We have eight. Nice. We actually have eight of them already, and we do have a couple of Giscari recruits as well. Okay, so we have eight of them. So if I just take these Bowmen out and these um, these recruits, I should be able to make that work without too many problems at all. Uh, let's just cross our fingers and hope that that's actually the case, because I'm going to need to go to Giscari lands and actually recruit a couple of people uh, to make that work. So I have eight, and I have four in my party at the moment, so I just need another six, if none of them die, of course to be able to make this work and then we can hopefully complete this task within the 30 day time limit. And I'm also going to actually take a quick look here and see whether there are any wars that we could potentially start. Um, let me see, 0% support for this, okay. That's kind of weird. Not sure why Not sure why that is. I'm assuming that Aegon is, is getting a little bit antsy here. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, he's just recruiting from here over and over again. I think he wants to get noble units as much as possible. Okay, let's have a look at this. Yeah, there we go. This is much easier. Okay, so I'm just going to get a bunch. And then we can basically just go into a battle with some broken men, I guess. If I can actually catch up to them, that is. That might be a bit problematic. Or I could go... You know what? I could go into the village hideout. Well, not the village hideout. The bandit hideout. And just take the Giscari with me and we could also do this how, how much uh, how many do you need me to kill seven oh uh, no actually I don't <laughs> I don't actually want to do that I'm just going to go into the hideout with some of my Giscari recruits and hope that that actually um, I don't know is that a bad idea I think that might be a bad idea but I'm going to take some of my people in there, and I'm going to be using the Militia Mace that I absolutely love. I really love this weapon. And we're going to hope that they level up quite a bit. So let's do that. So we're just going to unmark a couple of these. And where are they? Uh, they're going to be far away, aren't they? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let's see here. Giscari recruits. Let's take a whole bunch of them. And the Bowman as well. Can we take those too? Let's take the Bowman first so that we can level them up to tier 3 and then we'll take the rest uh, being recruits. 
and let's go in. Okay, so this is obviously not what you want to do. Usually you want to be real careful. You want to make sure that uh, you, you, you know, achieve victory in the bandit hideout quests. Ah, oh, hello there. There's a person right there. Gonna try and shoot him if at all possible. There we go. He's dead. Now another nice little snipe for this guy as well, hopefully. Oh, it whizzed past, it passed his ear. Did you see that? Oh no, it went right above his head now. There we go. There's a nice little headshot. Wow, my <laughs> my hand was literally shaking right there. I was like, what? Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. the problems of, of being me. Yes, indeed. I always have those kind of like twitches and, and stuff like that whenever I'm playing FPS or doing something with my bow. Oh, it's kind of annoying. Anyway, is there anyone out there? I don't see anyone over there. No one's over there either. How many people are actually in here? Only two groups, right? So I think I can probably tell my uh, probably tell my people to charge in and uh, just do what they want to do, because I obviously don't want to eliminate them all myself. Because I'd like to get them some experience. So if they can go and actually do their own thing and attack some people, then I'll be pretty happy with that. Hello there, sir. Oh no, he's got a big weapon. Oh no. Okay, it's not actually that bad. Wow, this is so incredibly slow, fellow. You you really wow. Yeah, that was that was very ill advised. He was literally taking a Star Falchion into a duel, and you know how difficult that is to to utilize, you know, using a Star Falchion in a one-on-one -on -one situation in a close quarters. No. No. That's that's not going to work. That's not going to work very well at all. I should know. I've been in those situations myself, and it's absolutely infuriating to be on the opposite side of it. Anyway, let's just speed everyone up. And they're dying. There we go. Never mind. They killed someone, and they didn't actually die. They just got themselves eliminated, knocked unconscious, and so on. And now we're just going to say, I'm not going to make any you know, any deals with these guys. We're just going to attack them because I want my fellows to get experience. So I don't fight duels with brigands. Let's tell my forces to go in there. Don't die, sir. I'm just going to try and help you out a little bit. There we go. Now they can just wail on that fellow and they should be able to eliminate him. Yeah, not too bad at all. And that's a wonderful victory. And now hopefully they will have leveled up quite significantly. And uh, maybe just maybe we'll be seeing uh yeah look at that there's nine nine level ups actually surprisingly enough I, I didn't expect all of them to level that's for sure but there you go we were able to increase our relation with house targaryen as well which is very nice and we can now level these guys into archers and then level these guys into bowmen all all eight of them actually leveled up which is really really good and we now have uh yeah 12 of these fellows look at that we now have 12 of these fellows which is absolutely amazing so all i technically need to do now is go into another hideout take in another 10 of these guys and then we should be completely fine to achieve victory on this task that is all i can really hope for but um, apart from that hopefully there's going to be another war declaration coming soon and then we'll be able to go into a battle alongside Daenerys and actually see her dragon in action. I can't wait for that. I think that's going to be super fun. And hopefully you're going to join me for it. Oh yeah, you're going to join me for it, right? You, you want to see that dragon, right? Yeah. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.